What's up, beautiful people? Today is March 4th, and here is your daily energy report. Uh, don't forget, guess the vibration of the background, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you will win a free reading with me. And uh, astrology readings are 30% off. Check out my website, spiritualbuilder.com, for all my services. All right. We Today, we have Mars going into Gemini. Now, that is going to give us this feeling of it's time to go let's go let's move a lot of cerebral activity and this is going to be different kind of cerebral activity though than than the aquarian energy the aquarian energy is like all these visions all these ideas all these things coming but we don't really know how to really work with it not that we don't know how to work with it but it's so much like almost like information overload right and and uh so now today we also have jupiter exactly conjunct mercury for its last time so this is this feeling that we're, it's like, go, it's go time. Let's go, let's move. Now, which direction are we going to move? It depends on what's going on in your life. With Mars and Gemini, this is very like looking at the details now, right? Digging in the details and really setting up the um, the step-by-step -step process on how to get what we want. But if there's things in the past that still need to be dealt with, that still need to be worked through, then we must you know, face those and really be honest with ourselves as we're leaving an old an old life behind, really, you know, and this is all coming into the um, the the great conjunction energy that we saw on December twenty first last year, right? We're coming into like you know, okay, this is part of my past, and I don't want this part of kind of energy in my life, right? Whatever kind of energies that 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 used to um, define us, I guess, if you will, or define how we went, you know, we came out in the world is going to be highlighted so that we can, you know, move through it, move past it and really step into this new place, whether it's a belief or an idea or a person or a job and business. All right. We have, um, we've maybe really had a lot of tests um, because the universe is asking us, Hey, have you really grown? Have you really moved through all your self limiting beliefs? Have you really moved through all your lessons when it comes to, you know, having a partnership, even if you're in a partnership there, the dynamics could be shifting. If you're not in a partnership, this is bringing in opportunities to really learn. Is this, is this a lesson that we have to learn? Or is this someone or an experience that, that I feel like I can grow with? And now we are growing into this new version of us, which is still unknown. So there's still this, either way we go, there's still this feeling of, oh shit, like, what are we going to do? And if you don't know exactly what's what to do or what's going to happen, sit with that. All right. Um, we cannot rush things. We cannot try to force things to happen. We must go with the flow. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, our heart is activating. And sometimes when our heart is activating on another level, you know, like other chakras, other parts where there's been blockages at are going to come up to be cleared. Um, Really, the lower three chakras represent the ego, right? It represents our instant gratification, our desire, you know, to come into the world from, you know, not the highest vibration. So as the lower chakras get cleared, it moves up the heart. And the heart is usually where everything gets stuck because the heart is the central hub of our energy, right? It's the, the heart chakra is more powerful than any other chakras combined. And it is the, it is the, um, it is a place where, you know, we have to be brutally honest with, our, with ourselves and get out of our head. Like we have to get out of our head that the head is in, and the mind is where everything gets really uh, kind of confused. And we have the moon um, going through the, the last part of Scorpio into Sagittarius today. And this is going to bring us from this like deep investigative, you know, desire to this more expansive. What can I do? Where can I go? You know, trying things that are going to test you, right? Like for me, you know, I I'm, I'm, I'm jumping on this, you know, this new fitness train and I'm finding that my, my spirituality is really taking on a whole new platform. I remember back when I was, you know, really a more elite athlete, if you will. Um, it was a very spiritual experience, but I've grown. And now that I'm a different person inside, it's, it's taking on a different kind of energy, right? And we all need to be held accountable. Um, and if there's parts of your life that, you feel like you cannot hold yourself accountable. We need to surround ourselves with people or places or things or experiences that do hold us accountable. Okay. Um, accountability is huge. It's absolutely huge. I, I remember when I was in the military, you know, like I kind of, I didn't hate being in the military per se, but I, 
I, I felt like, you know, they take care of everything for you. So you don't really have to think of anything on your own. Then you get out in the real world. All right. And then it's like, oh, I got to pay my own bills. I got to get my health insurance. I got to do all this stuff on my own. And they're not taking care of that. So it takes a lot of discipline and a lot of adjustment to be able to do that. Wherever you're at in your life, okay, um, it just, it's time to pay attention to the details. It's, it's, it's time to start really getting the finer, finer, more, you know, smaller things that we may have been missing. We got to cr cross all the T's, dot all the I's, look at all the details, all the stuff that we may not want to look at or listen to. It's, you know, if you get triggered for, from something that's saying that you got to you have to look at it, listen to it. And then if there's a big change that seems to be happening in your life and you're afraid of it, hey, look at why you're afraid of it. Look at what seems to be holding you back. Look at what seems to feel right or wrong or where the real growth really is. And, um, you know, uh, look for signs or, you know, get an astrology reading, okay? Uh, or, you know, get a coach or do something that helps bring you into this next chapter because we don't always see something with our own consciousness, you know, like the best coaches also have coaches, right? Because we are essentially eternal students of life. So getting outside um, subjective, uh, you know, observations through some kind of divination tool or just some kind of coaching structure or protocol is going to help us uh, be honest with ourselves, okay? Like a lot of times we lie to ourselves about certain things and we wonder why is this not manifesting? Why is this happening? So whatever's manifesting in your life, take a step back, observe it from the objective, you know, um, position and look at it like, you know, okay, what's going on with me? Why is this happening and where am I going? Um, stay grounded the best you can. And, you know, time is moving faster. So things are manifesting almost instantaneously. So if there's tower moments or if there's experiences in your life that, you know, seem to be blowing up or seem to be going in the direction that you don't want it to go, all right, ask yourself why. Look at it, get outside advice, uh, whatnot, and you will find that it's going to move slow at first, all right, but everything is moving forward right now in the universe, so it's going to move slow, but as it starts to pick up, it's going to compound, just like compounding interest, all right, you start slow, and it sucks at first for the first one, two, three weeks, and then you find, you start to find your flow and move into it and get in that habit of really taking care of the body. Whatever you're doing um, to take care of your body or to take care of your mind is going to help you to move through this, so Utilize whatever, whatever uh, you know, biohacking thing or device. I love my Vibroacoustic Sound Lounge. If you're interested in learning more about that, message me, let me know. I'm happy to share that with you. Um, and just step into it, you know, a little bit at a time and take care of you first and foremost, all right? So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, for sharing, subscribing. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please follow me on, on uh, social media, uh, Instagram at spiritual underscore bodybuilder. And if you know someone that can benefit from this information, send them my way, yo. And I appreciate you all very, very much. I love you. Special shout out to the Opportunity Community. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific. And other than that, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Aho.